Imagine you're creating a prompt for OpenAI that aims to classify data from a transcript or content and you want to output it in a JSON format. You put tons of effort in creating the perfect prompt for it, but then BAM, your JSON is invalid. I think every single one of us that has tried to use JSON in a response has been there. And to be honest, it regularly messed up my workflows, but that time is over. I'm glad to introduce to you JSONOut, a free online service that allows you to repair and validate JSON constructs so that you can focus on your workflows instead of validating. JSONOut is a result of you, my awesome community members, as you guys literally penetrated my chats with the hope of finding a solution for breaking JSONs. To show you an example, I'm going to take a prompt from one of my previous videos where I basically used a real estate voice agent to classify the transcript of that conversation and get the real estate data from it. Oh, and if you haven't seen this video, definitely check it out. It's worth it. So here's the prompt I use. It describes the scope, response format, and further instructions of what I want to do. And don't worry, it's all available for free inside of our resource hub, so you can simply head over to hub.integraticus.com, create a free account and download the stuff as always. While the prompt looks great, it doesn't work all the time properly as sometimes it includes extra content that is not part of a JSON construct, which means either text before, maybe a missing bracket, maybe limitations because of the token length. There are tons of reasons that can happen and this is always what breaks the JSONs when you try to implement them into automation. If you take the prompt I just showed you, this might be a possible example what comes back as a response. Earlier, this broken JSON construct would have killed the whole automation it would have stopped everything and I would have to manually start the thing over again, try to fix it, etc. But those times are over thanks to JSONOut. All I do is making an API call to JSONOut, I add my API key and I add the JSON content that I would like to have validated and it just returns me back a fully validated JSON the way I want it so that I can use it immediately inside of my workflows. If you're part of my community, you know this tool already since a couple of weeks, but if you aren't, it's not too late to join now. The link is in the description. And for any one of you that likes to solve things in an alternative way, I obviously have an answer as well. If you are using OpenAI, you can use their response format key to return a JSON construct. This makes the response more likely to be an actual JSON construct, even though it might still break because it's still AI. So in the best option, you would use it in combination with JSONOut. Another alternative, if you're using OpenAI, is to use their functions as it allows you to return a JSON right from the beginning. Another way is to simply optimize the prompting that you do by simply trial and error until you have a prompt that works for you and that just doesn't break all the time. And in case you're more technical, you can also use a library like Pydantic to create create your very own validator. The link for Pythantic is as well down in the description. If you're still struggling with JSON constructs after that, you might want to educate yourself a little bit more on JSONs and what they actually are. I've released another video on JSON specifically that explains a little bit more about how JSON works, what it is, how you can use it, etc. So definitely check it out. And since you are still here, I'm going to share with you an example on how you can use make.com in combination with JSON out to validate your JSON in less than a minute. And as always, I'm going to provide you the make.com scenario as a blueprint inside of our resource hub. So simply download it, install it, and and you can follow me along right on the screen. The first thing I did is I added an OpenAI endpoint that does a prompt completion and I added a prompt from my previous video where I created a voice controlled real estate agent and this is literally just the exact same template I used there just that I manually added a transcript right in here so that we can actually test it. So if I just run that whole thing we will probably get back a valid JSON as this is already optimized to actually return something valid but as you can see here actually it isn't valid it has already three little characters in front of it. So this JSON would basically break and to avoid that we can add our JSON out endpoint. And to do that I will simply add a new HTTP module. You can simply search for HTTP. You will find it here. You select the make a request endpoint and now we head over to JSON out. You go to the documentation and you copy the JSON out URL which is right this one. You paste it inside the URL field and then you head to the methods. You select the post method for the body type. We can make it simple so we just use the form URL encoded. We add a new field. This one we call token which is where our our API key goes in when you create an account on JSON out and then we also add JSON content and we basically add that content from OpenAI right in here which is basically the JSON that we want to have validated. So we go to here, we have the text, we add it right in here. And now I'm going to add the API key, but that's something you won't see. All right, I just added the API key and all I did is I clicked on the advanced settings so that these parts show and I will parse the response and I will set it to yes. And I click okay. And that's literally all I do. So if I run that whole scenario now, it doesn't really matter what information comes through. Basically, JSON out will validate the JSON and will return you a valid JSON completely formatted so that you can use it in the next steps, as you can see right here. So let's just see what came back if it was actually a JSON in the first place. This time it was, as you can see, there are no characters before. So this time the automation wouldn't have failed. So if I scroll down here and I look into the data, it shows the proper JSON and it also says 
says that it wasn't repaired, it said no, which means it was valid in the first place. So now let's run the same thing again and see what happens now. I just want to get for you an example that actually fixed it. This one was also already valid. So as you can see, sometimes it works, sometimes it does a proper job, but sometimes it just fails. And with JSON out, this is exactly what we can avoid. As you can see now, it says yes. So it basically repaired the JSON, which means whatever we got back here was not a valid JSON. And that is true because as you can see here, it has empty spaces and it has line breaks in the beginning, which breaks the JSON, obviously. So that is something that you need to keep in mind. So that would also, again, break the whole functionality inside of make.com. But again, JSON out fixed all of that for you. So it returns you a proper JSON that you can then use inside of your workflow. And you have a bit more peace of mind that the stuff actually is valid. If you're not sure if your JSONs actually work out, you also have the possibility to try it directly on our website on jsonout.com. If you scroll down a little bit, you will be able to try the repair service where you can add in a very simple JSON and it will return you the validated JSON. So as you can see, this is just a string with some random text and break broken stuff and it still returns a valid JSON. So even the double quotes are encoded, so everything is properly validated so that you can continue using it. It doesn't matter how many you add there, it will always validate the stuff properly. So JSON note for now is still in open beta, so you can try it out for yourself. You can work it out. If you find any issues, I'd be more than happy if you can report them to me so we can look into it and make the product better than ever before. And that's it for mine now. I really hope you find value in this video and you can use it for your advantage. And in case you have any further questions, you can always reach me either via YouTube, via comments or on side of our Discord community. I'll be answering questions there as well. Until next time, thanks for watching.